Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Oh, I'll tell you, I learn so much all the time. It, it's just amazing. Uh, and like I said, in Guatemala, they have the same thing as they do in the United States. It's just more obvious in Guatemala. And it's funny because I had someone explain to me, uh, well, th first they said that I was intelligent. And seldom do I have anybody tell me I'm intelligent. <laughs> but they told me that I was really smart to have a 95 Toyota Camry. And uh, uh, the thing is, this is 2015, the end of 2015. And, uh, but they said, my car is very special. You know, and I'm thinking, what's so special about this? What it is, they don't have 95 Toyota Camrys down here. They have the newer uh, Toyota Camrys, but they don't have the older ones down here. And uh, so I'm smart because I'm driving a car that no one wants the parts off of it. You know, and I'm thinking, okay, what, what's, what, what are we, what, what's this all about? And what they were explaining to me is uh, when you need a part for your car, there's a section in town, it's probably three, maybe four blocks square. And you just go down there and they have used all kinds of used equipment, all kinds of used parts for all kinds of vehicles. And what you do is you tell them what part you want uh, on the year and make of the car. And then what they do, uh, whatever, whatever part you want, what they'll do, they'll either steal the part off of an existing car. And remember, I already told you, I had somebody steal my battery. Uh, the battery is something that is useful no matter what. So they stole my battery. But uh, the thing is, if it's a, uh, like a fender or uh, seats, or some uh, part that's a little more timely to steal, what they do is they steal your whole car <laughs> and they take it in uh, to this area and they've got different shops, all, all kinds of shops in this area. And then uh, they'll take it into that shop and they'll dismantle your car they take it completely apart and all the parts are sold to all the used part dealers in that area and, uh, and but first they'll take the part uh, in other words like if you called me and you said well I need a, um, a left front fender on um, uh, 2008 Lexus uh, well then or Mercedes or whatever it doesn't make any difference uh, what what I would do is go on the search for that make and model of a car and then I'll find it and then once I find it I steal the car I'll take it to one of these chop shops and like I say within 24 hours it'll be completely pieced apart and I will have your fender for you and the fender you're going to pay you know uh, a price, you know, I mean, like a Lexus, uh, 2008, like from Fender, you know what I mean? It would be kind of pricey. So then uh, I would I would get that Fender for you. Now, not only I would get that Fender and you would pay me for that, the rest of the car I take to the chop shop and they'll pay me, you know, a few hundred dollars for the car. And then they, like I say, they disassemble it. And uh, all the parts are sold, pennies on the dollar, to all of the different part shops in the area. And uh, so in other words, if you want a part, 
let's say you need a new uh, alternator for that 2008 Lexus. Uh, you can go over there and they'll have somebody that, wouldn't you know, they would have a, uh, an alternator for you. And uh, uh, so if they don't have the part in stock, they will find it for you. <laughs> so, and uh, it's cool because nobody has a, a 95 Toyota Camry. I'm the only one. And uh, uh, that's, that's why I have no, I, 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 nobody's really victimized me. Now, they said the, probably the biggest target down here is Toyota pickups. Uh, so, uh, but as you've seen, there's a lot of Toyota pickups running around down here. So, in other words, uh, if they if they see you have a nice Toyota pickup, they're going to snatch it up, and like I say, within 24 hours, it'll be gone. And as you would think that um, the you could you lose your car, you call the police, and they'd go down there to that three or four block square and find your car. You would think so, and they probably do. And when so the police will go in there and they'll find the car, and then the guy will say, "Yeah, this is the car." You know, they look at the VIN numbers and all that. Yeah, that's it. And then they'll give them, you know, a hundred bucks, and the cop will go on his way. He didn't find your car. So uh, that's the way the, <laughs> the system is set up. <laughs> so I'm thinking, if that's what it is, it's got to be the same in the states. Uh, but uh, like I said, I don't know, maybe it's the same thing in the States. You just go down to that area and you tell somebody what parts you need and they'll find it for you, either in that area or they'll uh, go get the whole car and get the part that you need. So uh, I'm sure they probably do the same thing in the States. Like I say, I just, I just never seem to be around those kind of people, so I, I just don't know about that stuff. <laughs> so. It, it, but it's funny, uh, the way the system works, and it's so quick, and it's efficient, <laughs> you know, uh, just like they stole my battery, and then after, and then they told me that uh, if my car was more valuable of a car, uh, then what they would have done, they would have stole the battery first to make sure the car doesn't leave the area. And then uh, they would snatch up the whole car. And, uh, uh, but that's, for me, that's uh, one thing I realized at the time when they took my battery, I realized not to leave my car. I knew, I knew enough that, but I kind of thought they would take my whole car. Uh, but they said they probably wouldn't want to take my car. It's just, it's an easy battery to take. And so uh, I do need to watch out for my battery. So, uh, and the battery is the same battery used in different cars, so, and it's an easy picking on my car. So, uh, batteries I need to watch out for. So, I need to watch out where I park my car so then they won't uh, pilfer some more batteries from me. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to bring it to your attention something new that I learned. <laughs> this is Mike, nostressmike.com.